hello guys welcome to this another video in this channel so what we are doing here today is we are going to create a simple fps game so it will not be much more fancy fancy but uh, what we will be doing is um, we'll be um, adding a simple fps uh, shooter and a gun in his uh, gun with him and we'll be shooting at some cubes so that we can destroy the, uh, those cubes so um, let's uh, just quickly create a floor so 3d object cube and just call it floor f l o o floor and then set the scale to 40 okay 1 and 40 okay this should give us a nice new floor and just i have just added a new uh, material to the floor which i already created and then okay, let me delete that okay inside floor okay inside the hierarchy just add the fps first person controller prefab and then delete the main camera from the scene so that is no longer needed and inside the fps controller you can see first person character this is a camera so uh inside fps kit okay this is a folder that i uh, this is the asset that i got from as uh, unity asset store and you should find it easily enough just search for fps kit and uh, there will be a n number of uh, more kits coming um uh, in the asset store so you can just download it one download one and you can use the assets from that so this is a uh, gun that uh, um, that looks pretty good to me um, and i'm just adding it for the player so that okay um, it can um, it can shoot uh, the cubes so this as you can see is uh okay this is simply um what uh, you can see is here a small gap uh, you can see here that is our gun is being clipped because it is too near to the camera so what we are doing is inside first person character set the clipping planes near to 0 0.01 so what you can and that does is it does not let the gun be clipped so it's um, good enough for us now so let's just quickly add a script so inside the scripts folder create a c sharp script and call it gun shoot okay this is my script here and i'm just opening it waiting for it to open so it has opened now inside gun shoot i am just copying the thing that i have already made okay something didn't work out quite good okay for some reason i am not able to paste here or is it not being copied so i don't know what is wrong here I cannot copy it and I cannot paste it. Wow. Okay, I'm just quitting Mono de Blob once so that I can copy and paste my script. Something is going wrong. I don't know what it is. But I think I can copy it inside my notepad. Okay, I can copy it inside notepad. Something's wrong with Monodev. Okay okay finally so let's delete these unnecessary things there that i just put for my test purposes that before making this video and yes okay this is enough for us so we have in the starting of the function declared a player transform so we have also declared a recast so what this recast does is five what we do here is we fire a simple uh, ray from the starting of my uh, gun of this gun so this gun fires a small ray in front of it so when the ray strikes something then uh, when the ray strikes something we'll delete that game object and the game object is enemy so we'll be checking what it uh, strikes here so we have assigned the player transform as transform.parent in this case the parent of ak47 is first person character so this thing will be called and player transform okay now if input dot get button down fire one so fire one is defined inside the input section here edit project settings and input you can see that inside access you have fire one so i'm just calling this thing here so it is already assigned to mouse zero and left control so this thing should be uh, will help us to shoot 
so get button on fire one if the fire one button is down then i've just sent a debug a log inside the debug so that is short uh, i'm just saying that we have short something so if physics dot ray cast player transform dot transform point so what we are doing is we are sending a ray cast from this position this is the starting position so a random uh, number is generated between minus one comma one in x and same thing in y and then one in z so we can fire from our gun mm, so this is the transform dot forward so, so this is the shooting direction in which direction we want to shoot we want to we definitely want to shoot in forward direction and we are hitting out a ray cast as soon um, as we had we have defined above and the range is 400 that we have given and defined here so if hit dot collider dot tag equal equal to enemy if we have shot something called enemy then destroy hit dot transform dot game object so we are destroying the hit the uh, game object if we have hit something then we are destroying it so and we, if we have hit enemy then we are destroying it so this tag has not been defined now and the enemy has also not been defined now so let's quickly define this enemy so inside Mm, unity hierarchy create a new 3d object cube so this is just a simple cube and this is our enemy this is um, we do not we could place a human being and then assign the co uh, colliders and do everything but uh, that would be a, that would take a lot of time and um, you know that would uh, that would need, need us to create a different series uh, but uh, right now we are not doing that so let's quickly call it e and e m enemy and tag it with enemy tag but we do not have the enemy tag so add tag called enemy so if you want to give it a different name just give it a different name here copy it and paste it here inside the um, double uh, cool, uh, double what do you say quotation marks okay inside that thing and then drag the scripts uh, sorry gone shoot script to okay to ak47 like this way <coughs> sorry so this is our enemy and we have uh, we are tagging this with enemy so if we fire something we click right click uh, inside this window then our gun should fire and this enemy should be destroyed so let's create two three enemies here and just duplicate it mm, okay so if we shoot one another two three we can shoot and can enjoy like a game so mm, yes maybe some okay where is this this thing is still there okay there are five six enemies so we can shoot at them and see how this works so we are shooting something and if we get it right so our enemies disappear so <coughs> i'm really sorry guys okay this is um, this is a simple uh, way to uh, make the gun suit in an fps game you can always make enemy we can add enemy ai to the games and things like that uh, we can always do that you can also add some particle effect uh, to the gun if you want to show that it is just um, firing something you can add sounds to it so uh, this is a simple way to get started uh, for a fps game uh, this much for today guys uh, i'm stopping this video here and um, thank you for watching 